Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about Citrix Workspace application installation. And if you're trying to install this application and if you're getting some .NET or Java error, I'll show you how to troubleshoot and fix the problem. So first of all, I would like to install the software to show you the error message. So if you have already downloaded the Citrix Workspace app and if you're trying to install the application, It looks for the prerequisites. Basically, it looks for uh, the, the uh, prerequisites on your computer, like if it has sufficient RAM or CPU or Java application installed, all these things. So when you're so when you're trying to install this, you see this error message, something like installation unsuccessful, unable to install the following prerequisites. Install them manually and then try to install Citrix Workspace app again. So it says .NET Framework 4.6.2 or later, error code 1168. So it is saying that .NET Framework is not available on this particular machine and we need to download this and install it first as a prerequisite. First of all, we need to install this before installing Citrix Workspace application. So let's close this. So I just want to tell you that if uh, on your computer if it is showing 4.8.2 something like that then you have to look for the version which is um, uh, which is higher than 4.8.2 in my case it is 4.6.2 so I look for something higher than 4.6.2 so I just click OK so I just go to Google Google Google.com and type .NET Framework dot net one second mm. yeah google chrome is a bit faster so dot net uh, framework okay so i see 4.7.2 which is the higher version so i just click on that particular option click on it and you see here download .NET Framework 4.7.2 runtime so I just click on it once you click on it it would download the software just so please run the exe click run and once you hit run it installs .NET Please accept the license terms. Click install. So the process would start. It starts downloading the software. So please hold on for a few minutes. So after installing this .NET Framework, uh, we should be able to install Citrix Workspace application and it should work hopefully. So 
so this is going to be a bit long video so please bear with me So my advice to you is if you're trying to download a .NET framework, always download it from Microsoft website. Please don't uh, go to any third party website to download this software. Okay, it's getting installed slowly. So it says the installation is complete. .NET Framework 4.7.2 has been installed. So just click finish. Okay, so it is asking us to restart the machine. So what I would like to do is I will restart later, but in your scenario, just restart the computer and try to install Citrix workspace. Okay. So I'll just click on restart later and uh, I would like to run the software once again. So here we have Citrix workspace app. So I just try to run the software and see how it goes this time. Click start. A 
it is looking for prerequisites again so it says installation non-successful once again so let's do one thing let us restart the machine and see how it goes okay so i am restarting my computer This is going to take a few minutes. Please bear with me. Okay, it's loading. All right. I'll try to log in. So you are probably installing this software on Windows 8 or Windows 10. It depends. So let's try to run the file again and see how it goes okay let's run this software Let's run as administrator. Okay, let's click start accept the license agreement click install it's looking for prerequisites once again so since we have restarted the computer i hope it will install this software without any issues this time so it's looking for dot net framework once again Interesting that is this is taking a while Okay, it says initializing seems like it is going fine 
but let's wait and see okay it's installing citrix workspace application Hi everyone, uh, the installation went successfully and uh, I was able to install Citrix workspace on my computer without any issues. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you very much.